We bring you part three of our investigation on illegal migrants taking over areas across India's states. First, it was Bihar's Simanchal, then Assam's Dubri, and now it's the Uttar Pradesh Nepal border. The story remains the same. Illegal immigrants are taking over areas and it's leading to an increase in population. And on the receiving end are the locals who are struggling due to this rise in the minority population. The locals claim that since immigrants began to take over their land, crime has increased and so has drug abuse. Take a look at this exclusive report by my colleague Anshul Singh. This is Rupaydiha, a small town in Behraich district of Uttar Pradesh. It's close to the porous Nepal border. A matter of concern for local residents and a security issue for India. At an annual police meet in November last year, the UP police pointed out a disproportionate rise in Muslims in the seven border districts of Behraich, Maharajganj, Siddharth Nagar, Balrampur, Shravasti, Pilibit and Kairi, illegal immigrants from across the border. Out of 1047 villages spread across seven districts of the UP Nepal border, the Muslim population has increased significantly. In some cases, more than 50% over the past two years. Officials on the ground say that this has resulted in increase in crime and illegal trafficking in this entire area. However, sources within the intelligence agencies indicate that this new change in demography could be a new plan to infiltrate India. Apart from a higher decadal population growth, there's been an exponential rise in the number of mosques and seminaries. The UP police report said the number of mosques and madrasas in the border districts rose from 1,349 in 2018 to 1,688 in 2021, a 25 percent increase. The biggest is that the nasheeri padar. कुछ नशीली दवाएं भी हैं यहाँ पर उसकी वजह से भी क्राइम बढ़ रहे हैं और कुछ नशीली चीजें हैं जो हमारा यंग नौजवान जो है तब का जो इस्तेमाल कर रहा है आबादी तो अभी इतने बड़ी नहीं है लेकिन बाहरी लोग जो आते हैं काम करने के लिए जैसे ठेला वाले हो गए सब्जी वाले हो गए वो यहाँ पे आते हैं फिर शाम को चले जाते हैं ननपारा और आबादी तो कोई खास ना बड़ी नहीं The increase in illegal immigrants has also led to a rise in the crime rate. A visit to one of the border areas showed what looked like a local crossing. Those crossing over were neither checked nor questioned. We spoke to one of the local residents who admitted to being part of a smuggling racket. Some people from Nepal come from क्या करना है कैसे ले जाना है ये सब बातचीत करके अपना रुपाड़िया से नेपाल जाता है और नेपाल से कुछ सामान इंडिया भी आता है ये तो बड़े तस्कर को ज्यादा पैसे मिलते हैं हम लोग को तो बस मजदूरी ही मिलता है तो कैसे तस्करी करते थे क्या सामान लेके जाते थे कपड़े हैं कपड़े की गांठ है और इधर यूरिया खाद है नसीली दवाएं हैं सिरप है गोली है और नेपाल से जो है जड़ी बूटी है चरस है मेघासिरी है नेपाली गुटका है ये सब आता है तो कैसे लेके जाते थे साइकिल पे लोड करके लेके जाते हैं अब और ये कौन लोग हैं जो तस्करी करते हैं किस समाज से आते हैं कुछ लोग इंडिया से हैं कुछ लोग नेपाल से हैं बड़े तस्कर तो इंडिया में हैं और कुछ लोग नेपाल के मिलजुल के अपना कोई इधर संभालता है तो कोई उधर संभालता है मुस्लिम हैं बाइक से आते हैं अपना बातचीत किया सेटिंग मिलाया और सामान ले गए लेबर को भी साथ में लेके आते हैं Currently, I'm standing at a porous border between India and Nepal. And because of this, the smuggling of illegal goods and narcotics has created a huge menace, not only for the security forces, but also for the locals in this area. And that is the reason why UP Police has written to the Home Ministry asking them to increase the limit of BSF to 100 kilometers. What remains to be seen if the BSF can come in power over here and make sure that the illegal smuggling happening through these routes are stopped and the security of India is not hampered. With video journalist Vahid Vek, this is Anshul Singh for CNN News 18.